Okay, I'm going to show you one way you can get your tortoise shell print on the table that you chose. It's not using envelope distort. Uh, we can talk about it in class. There's some issues with that um, on this being a really complex shape. And uh, when we used it on the snake, it was following a path. When we did the gradient mesh with the banana, we were building a simple shape. If we image trace this, it's going to have a lot of different shapes, um, and we're wanting them to go in a couple different directions in terms of perspective. So um, right now I'm just going to show you sort of what I have found to be the most simple way to accomplish getting the pattern in perspective on the tabletop, and you can do what you want with the legs. All right. So the first thing I did was I found the image that you had for the table and I tried to find the tortoise shell pattern. Forgive me if it's not the exact same one. Um, I didn't image trace the table first, but you certainly can do that. Um, I did image trace the tortoise shell pattern and there was like a little um, internet banner at the bottom of it and I just direct selected that shape and deleted it. So the next thing I want to do is... Um, I'm going to build a rectangle and I want it to be about the same height as the tabletop. I'm going to direct select one of the upper corners and drag it back so that the side touches the side of the table and the top of the line the rectangle touches the top of the table. Okay, it's pretty close. Move that over a little bit more. Cool. So now I have a tabletop in perspective. I'm going to select that and apply a gradient to it. I'm not even sure this part is necessary. Um, we can try and do it without it. Anyway, there's that. Great. Um, I've got that selected. I'm going to select my tortoise shape and just cover it up. So let's see, window layers. Okay, so I want both the green rectangle and the uh, tortoise shell shape selected and I'm going to go to object Envelope Distort Make with Top Object. And now I have um, the tortoise shell in perspective. The problem with trying to envelope distort this table is that Illustrator is just recognizing it as a bunch of different shapes and um, not really knowing that any of them are supposed to be moving back in space. Um, so because we transformed something, a, a shape they already understand, it'll sort of follow suit. And again, this might have to do with adding the, um, the mesh to the top of it. So anyway, this is looking pretty good. Um, I am going to go ahead and image trace the table. You don't have to do this. You could um, cover the eye and you could make an oval shape or use your pen tool and to make the shape but I'll image trace it so we can more efficiently use what's here. I'm going to change the mode to color and change the palette to automatic and drop the colors down to zero. Um, so now I have a white for the background, a light color, and I have a shadow color underneath on the table layer legs. So I've got a light, a shadow, and the background. Cool. Uncheck preview, click trace, object, expand, and just press my hotkey A for the shortcut. And I just want to delete that white. All right. Let's zoom out. Where did other stuff go? Other stuff, where'd you go? Did I delete it? Oh my goodness gracious. All right, let's do that again. 
color, automatic, here, trace, object. I must have had it selected still when I hit delete. Uh, expand, direct select, delete. Cool, now we are rocking. Um, I'm gonna select the whole table and ungroup it. Ungroup it again. Cool. I don't know why it every time so far it's made me ungroup it twice. But anyway, now I can just select this top shape by itself. Hold down. Oops. And do. I'm gonna pull this so that it lines up perfectly with the table. And um, I'm gonna send that backward. Send that to the back. Okay, cool. Select just the tabletop, hold down shift, grab your pattern object, drop down to clipping mask, and make. And there you have your tortoise shell on your table in perspective. If you don't like the way the image tracing of the table looks as it is right now, you can just copy your new shape file place grab your original um, table there it is um, if you are going to use this for a logo which is the point of this exercise then um, you're going to want to change it to a vector file so go ahead and image trace it again but um, you know, use as many as many colors, as many paths as you want, um, so that it looks as realistic as possible. If that's what you're going for, right? And then you click trace, object expand. Okay, now you have your way more complicated table, and we can go ahead and grab this shape and just lay it on top. But it's behind, so let's bring it to the front. There it is. And, all right, here is our layer. And um, I suppose if you wanted, you could change the transparency to, um, I don't really like the jagged edges here. There's a few things you can do to correct that. Um, and we can talk about that some more in class as well, I think. All right, I hope that's helpful.